Let's see if I can do anything about them. Oh! The volley territory. Yeah, I could look around this area entirely, but I don't feel like it right now. I think we're okay. So we'll pretty much just deal with these two guys and get out of here. I could shoot him and then immediately run up to that guy. How's that sound? Oh, I can hardly shoot him because he'll see me. Good. But now we've just left a whole bunch of people hanging around here. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna explore further. Yeah, this air. This area? Should I look around? I guess I should. Shouldn't I? Well, I'm here already, so. <laughs> might as well, might as well. Oh. Where are we going? <laughs> Not really sure where this goes. No one's left in this entire building, though. We might be able to walk around freely. As long as we find the security for the theater. Yeah, I don't see anyone around here. I don't think we can walk in through the front door. Whoa, but there's a lot of cameras here. Let's try to find... Yeah, let's try to find the computer. And then we can look around in peace. Okay, we can go up. I think. Oh! Whoa. Wow. It's kind of strange though. There's not a single person inside the theater. Usually, wouldn't there be people wandering around? There were only people in the apartment and on the roads, but not the theater itself. Washroom? There was a camera there. Washroom. Also a camera. Oh! Yeah, okay, never mind, never mind. I made a big mistake. There are people in here. Loads. Loads. Well, you know what? Oh my god. Okay, I don't think I'm prepared for this right now. I'm gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we will sweep the place clean, and then move on with whatever mission we have. Right now, it might seem like we're doing it for no reason, but I feel like this is probably gonna be a place that we come to in the future, so... Not a bad idea sweeping it clean now. Unless if they respawn later. That wouldn't be cool. But we'll deal with that when the time comes. Hey, we're back here at the Diwali Theater. This time I'm ready to go out, so let's see what's happening around here. There's a lot of people. I'm not too sure about this. Can we at least drop down? I think so. Oh... There's a camera right there. This toilet doesn't have a door. Nope. Okay. 
Well, I don't think we're quite going out this way. That seems a bit too... Yeah. There's lasers. Oh, this place is pretty heavily guarded. But maybe we can go out here. This guy right there, though. Might not be the best idea. Let me try to mark all the guys if I can. Cameras. Okay. Well, nobody should be here anymore. I think. Yep. Nobody's noticed, which is good. Oh! But they've noticed the hole in the wall. Which is normal. Oh, what the heck, get him. Good. This guy got himself. I can't really tell if there's anyone on the same floor here. And that light, that light is so freaking bright, I can hardly see. Actually, that's part of the problem. I can't see. But I think I'll be okay if I go outside here. Holy crap. Okay. Security. Beautiful. That's the best. When we first get into a building, the first thing we see is the security room. Beautiful. Anomaly detected. Oh, God. Initiated. Oh, Lord. Access granted. We're good. Off, off, off. Thank you. Nope. Why is that out? What the heck is that light? Oh. We can play films. Do we want to? That seems like a distraction. Yep, they've gone suspicious. That guy there is like, what the heck? Is he gonna come up? Yup, 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 yup. No, I think it gave up on me. Whatever. Terrible work ethic. Just gave up. Okay, so we're right at the center of the theater. Like, this is the theater already. I can't see a thing! It's so bright, and there's so many people. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe it's best to go this way first. No, 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 we can't go this way. It's too dangerous. Mm, maybe we can snipe them. If we can snipe them from up here. It's so bright. This is so bad. I really can't see. But if we can snipe from here. Or make them suspicious again. That one guy. I bet I could get that one guy. Oh. No, what? They just give up on this periodically. What the heck?
Oh, why is that light so bright? I can't... I really can't see. Yeah, I think I can get that guy on the side. Ooh. Nobody noticed. Beautiful. Any more guys we can pick off? It's hard for me to see the layout of this. Camera there. Maybe I should avoid that. Okay. Like, I just really wish that light wouldn't be like that. It's awful. Do you feel it? The tension between Otar and Radish? When the two top men hate and distrust each other like they do, everybody feels it. Whatever is going to happen, it has to happen soon. Then things can start settling down again. Yes. There are enough problems outside these walls without us having to deal with problems inside. I think we can get this guy. Hey, you off the rails. Yep. Since then, and then those four guys can see each other. So if we go over across the same place. Here. Nothing keeps happening. Yeah. Here. Uh, mm. Yep. Up shouldn't lead us anywhere. Those goddamn lights, I swear to god. If I can find that, I can turn them off. First thing I'm doing. The whole damn city is on edge. Oh! Unmarked guy. Okay, there's quite a few people downstairs. Gotta take it slow. Nobody's here. This guy's this all is alone. This a big space. What's to cover? Huh? Прости, это что было? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guys in the theater area. This is gonna be tough. All clear. Yeah, yes, man. Hmm. All right. God dang it. Those lights. Stop. I don't want to shoot them. Just in case if they make noise. That guy. Oh, he's gonna see that guy. Nothing to report so far. There's no one around here, no fucking self-defense. Fuck! Wonder when the party starts. Oh my god! Finally. Oh, I can't believe he didn't turn around here. That was nuts. Oh, that guy's fainted. Come look at me. 
All clear. Huh? No one's looking at me. The stripper poles in the balconies are a nice touch. <laughs> stripper poles. Come here. Can I throw anything? This is He doesn't care. This is a big space. What's to cover? Come here. No, I no. think I saw something. Yeah, better. Yup. That's really convenient. Get around the corner so nobody sees you. Okay. And that's one more. How many guys do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. Let's go that way. Got furniture. I can't pick up a hypo stim? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, too many. Oh, beer. Beer. Get the beer away. There we go. Two guys right here. Okay. There's a camera. Not good. Nobody's at the front entrance though, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. You're just watching TV? Now they're scared. Why is the TV off? Look at me. You need to relax, Brad. Oh, maybe I need to get out of here. Here. Whoo! <laughs> Going smoothly. Smooth, smooth. Okay. The one guy by himself should be okay. But will the other people see me? That's the problem. Sitting. I might need to throw something. By the way, oh yeah, it's totally slanted. I was starting to feel like the ground was slanting. He's sleeping or something. Wonder if I should waste my time. He heard me. Great. Noise is not always a bad thing. Sometimes, actually, a lot of times, it's great for distracting people. Feel like I've gone into the rhythm of things now. If I'm not too uncareful, usually I'm okay. And if they detect me, all I have to do is wait a little bit. Just wait. Don't rush. Oh, two guys, two guys. Crap. Ah! Nikawa. 
Oh, I can't. Not bored, right? Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's making a lot of noise. Stop! Wow, got a six sleeve going on here. One guy over there. They're both looking away. Maybe I should get the guy up top first. Oh! What the heck is this? Props. All sorts of props around here. Okay, that's going a little bit too far. Let me deal with the two guys here first. Mm, I should go back here. Great. All right. All this time, we have no purpose for being in the theater. <laughs> we just kind of came here because we can. All right, sweet. Look around a little bit now. One guy over there. I don't know where he is. And what the heck is this? Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> not a problem. Makes me nervous when they beep like that. We haven't found the other security computer, wherever that is. Oh, maybe it's down there. Oh. Okay. Maybe now would be a good time to go back downstairs to the vent. I saw a few lockers here. Goodies, goodies. Okay. Ah. Oh. Where is this place? Oh. It's like the makeup room. Or whatever you call that place. To be a little bit more careful. I'm just taking all of their men out. The best secure corporate archiving company. Oh, Palisade. Around the clock, around. Eliza Kassan! Luca. Luca Djibouti. Pretty sure we've seen Luca Anomaly before. Detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Great. To the family. Attention. Constantine's memorial service will be held at St. George's tomorrow at 10 a.m. Radich is asking the donations be made to his mom and the two boys, or the wife. While donations aren't mandatory, I'm telling you that if you're gonna come cheap, don't bother coming at all. So I better see all of you there. <laughs> Red Queen behavior. We got a lot of new blood coming into the organization right now. Specifically, we got a lot of Russian cousins, and I understand that some of you have a problem with that. Well. I'm here to remind you that the Diwali family is not some puritanical fucking relic of the old world. The new Diwali family is a business. Make no mistake, the heart that beats the center of our organization is still Iyakob Diwali's. But the blood that pumps is no longer just Diwali blood. It's Kadlek and Botkoveli and Grinin and Ivanov. That is what makes us strong. And that is how the Diwali name will continue to survive. So that bullshit dust up at the Red Queen last night is the fucking loss of it, understood? If any of you have a problem with the way things are being run around here, Radic Nikolazzi invites you to take it up with him personally. Yeah. Right. Originally, the Diwali's were Georgian people. Georgian men and women, I guess. But now they've... I don't know. What would you call that? They've diluted a little bit. 
And I guess some of the Anomaly some of the people in the organization aren't too happy about that. Trace program initiated. Something about keeping your roots, something Access something. Denied. Oh shit. Oh crap. I I was talking too much apparently, because that's not the way it was supposed to go down. But they waste of fucking time. Good thing there's only one guy. Oh crap. No? You can come here. Sometime today. It's a little bit too far for my stun they gun, waste I think. Of fucking time. It's locked. Can I shoot him from here? Can I try? No! They waste of fucking time. I'm here! Oh, now the two girls are gonna be annoying again. God damn it. Okay, well, let me... Let me deal with this again. Gotta be a little careful. Got locked up mega fast. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Hurry! Access granted. Battery from Radich. I don't have to remind you of the importance of the work Constantine was doing for me. I need to replace him immediately. Before the Brontosaurus starts getting any ideas. Oh, the Brontosaurus is Otar because he's old fashioned. <gasps> Tell me if you have someone you feel could be trusted with this responsibility. Radich. I have zero fucking tolerance for any of you assholes getting punchy with the girls. I find out you hit a woman and I hit you. Clear? Plus, our clients expect fresh merchandise, just like your granny's picking up bananas. They don't want no fucking bruises. Eh, I guess that's good. They're not awful, awful people. They don't want women to be hurt. Oh. How can I... I could just ignore that guy. No, I can't, because I can't get in there. I could just waltz in. Oh! You know what I should do? <laughs> oh my god, that's glass! <laughs> oh my god, my plan was to throw the grenade in there and get all three of them at once, but I, I'm freaking blind! Oh my god! Oh! Wow. And none of them noticed the problem. Okay, let me try that one again. We never use the gas grenade, so I feel like trying one. I just get it in there. Oh, that's not how to do it. Are we good? Okay, cool. You! You're okay! <gasps> Sorry! Don't run! <gasps> what? Oh. I was wondering where she- Oh my god! Why is she dead? Hang on. Why is she dead? Did I kill her? Oh no! How far back is my... are my saves? What the heck? No, um, okay. I think I might have accidentally killed her. Oops. Oh well. And I can't change it now. <laughs> World's Most Wanted. The Diwali Family. The list of crimes involving the Diwali is jaw-dropping. Drugs, guns, high-tech military hardware, unlicensed AUG distribution. It's a roll call of wrongdoing. From extortion to murder, smuggling to forced prostitution, the Diwali have their hands in it. 
And with rumors of numerous high-profile officers blackmailed or on the Diwali payroll, many believe authorities in Prague are powerless to do anything to stop them. Today, their involvement in trafficking human lives have top spot. Has top spot. The profit gained from smuggling desperate Augs and their families through today's strict border controls is monumental. Prague's position on the map means that Aug traffic is higher there, higher here, than anywhere else in the world. Us. More and more Augs are flushed eastwards into the arms of countries with looser laws and the opportunistic hands of the Diwali. Many never make it, but for the Diwali, people and their prosthetics are much like guns or class 8 drugs, a money-making commodity. Okay... I kind of feel bad. Oh! Uh... I knocked him out. That's Radich. Oh! Uh-oh. I feel like that's a poor choice. Okay, hang on here. Because we might have future missions involving him. Okay, no, I think I have to reload this one. I don't want to- I don't want to hurt him. Oh no. Don't think I want to hurt Radich before I meet him in story, in- in the main mission. So I'm gonna leave him alone. Alright, I'm back here. You see the window is okay now. I'm not going to touch that room. I got the computer here. And I'm just gonna leave. I think we can walk out through the front door, really. Oh, we're here. Where does this go? Ah, back to the stage area here. Okay. I'm fairly certain we've gone everybody in this building though, so we can just walk out. Yeah. Forget about Radish for now. Hopefully in the future. Oh. Are we going the right way? Hopefully in the future, we can just talk to Radich. Like, we'll walk in here and nobody will stop us. We'll just walk right to Radich. That's the plan anyway. God, I really hope they don't respawn because all of my efforts here would have been useless then. <clears throat> Here's the front doors. Thank you, Dr. Christensen. Oh! For your honest and insightful uh, perspective. Going this like is that. Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live no Eliza Kassan. Picus. Picus News, the global leader in Seriously? unbiased and impartial reporting. And now for a close look at the events making headlines. There we go. Eliza Kassan be gone. And here's the other security computer. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. We're good, we're good. Access granted. Beautiful. Turn it off, turn it off. Boom. Yeah. Well, maybe we can go out through the window. Done! Entire Diwali theater cleaned out. Sweet. How's that for productivity? I guess what we should do now, and oh my goodness, it's full again, my inventory. We should go do something else. Investigate the scientist's apartment? Okay, that sounds good. Seraph thinks my new augs were designed by a scientist named Vadim Orlov, who lives in Prague, next to TF-29. Yeah, let's go do this one.